three, two, one. All right, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message for Peach McIntyre. One of my subscribers said that there's something else going on recently and, you know, tap into the energy and just see what energy says. Okay, so uh, moving in love and light. This reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are always here, welcome back. All right, so um, I get specific downloads uh, when it comes to like music. It's it's sometimes it's musically and sometimes I just like hear phrases or I might even see something, you know what I'm saying? But I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe. Um, it's what I call a direct message from my ancestors, from the universe. Thank you, spirit. And I acknowledge it by saying it. Okay, so that's just my way of confirming like I got it. I got your message. So. When I was getting my decks uh, together, I was like, what is this? So get your house in order. I must have some old ancestors, okay? Because they be begging me back. Get your house in order. <laughs> Do it right away. <laughs> I say to the ancestors. I say to the universe. Okay, so let's just get into it. Um, Spirit is acknowledging that there's an energy around her barking up the wrong tree. Not now. A lack of clarity. Perspective shift is needed. Stalemate. Um, but yeah, so not only is this an energy of someone being loyal to you or you thought that you had loyalty, um, but it's also an energy of being mad at the world. Okay, that's my being mad at the world card on the bottom of the deck. Seal it or deal it. That's just it. So Spirit is acknowledging if that ain't truth, Chris ain't groceries. I always want to do more, but I really, really, really want to be like, let the universe do what the universe does. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't try to force things. Don't try to control things um, for, for your liking. This is what the universe is acknowledging. So this is it. Okay, so believe it, trustworthiness, watch for signs, intuition, lucidity, and the real deal. There's an energy, there's something going on in her energy field, and it's just not enough information. It's a lack of clarity, perspective shift is needed, but it does have to do with loyalty, and it does have to do with being mad at the world, being mad at the ancestors, being mad at the universe, being mad at source, being mad at God. Like, what is going on? So, let's see. Um, What's her current energy? What does she need in order to move in love and light? What does Peach McIntyre need to move in in order to move in love and light? Ooh. It always cracks me up when thousands of cards fall over. I'm like, you know, I can't read all them cards. One card, please. Okay, Spirit is acknowledging that you need to focus on self-care in order to move in love and light. Nurture your soul. Spiritual self-care can, can be anything meaningful that ignites a sense of sacred sacredness within you all spiritual self-care practices revolve around something you desire on some level the need for connection purpose and happiness examples include meditation yoga being in nature finding a spiritual community praying or acts of kindness such as volunteering are you doing enough to nurture your spirit that's the question self-care are you doing enough to nurture your spirit let's look at her relationship real quick with wood okay well, Spirit is acknowledging there's an energy of a time out. So someone needed to take a break. Someone acknowledging like, mm, maybe this is maybe this is what we need to do. Maybe we need to go ahead and have a time out. There's a lot going on. There's a lot taking place. So a short-term break in one's relationship, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that there is a soul tie with these two. A soul tie having an emotional and a spiritual connection with someone that seems unbreakable. Soulmate and or karmic partner. Karmic relationship meaning that you needed to learn a lesson. A lesson in it for you. A lesson in it for him. But it's a karmic relationship. So it comes with a lot of battle wounds and battle scars. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit is also acknowledging that she feels like she's going to have the last laugh when it comes to this situation. With Wood. The last laugh. Mm, that. That seems a little spooky. It just look at the picture. Look at the person's face. It's almost like they're up to something. So um, be careful with that because this person is coming off as vindictive. One who seeks revenge to cause pain or someone who has previously hurt them. Spirit is also acknowledging heart attack. So the sending you love and light, sending this energy love and light. But there's an energy of being devastated, shocking or heartbreaking news about something or someone. Wow. Spirit is also acknowledging that she is a jack of all trades, that she has many um, 
like jobs okay thank you spirit a juggler someone who has multiple partners lovers or player energy now be careful because we do see this man here and we see two women one woman is very very close and one woman is just staring at him um be very very careful so it's a layer energy or jack of all trades within this person this and it feels like a male energy um Mm -mm -mm. juggler someone who has multiple partners lovers and player energy and then we have the pleading man so which is interesting this situation always has you accepting hoping that something will change um apologetic a second chance granted after begging for forgiveness he begs for forgiveness you take him back he begs for forgiveness you take him back like that's the ride and the the road that you are on sending you all love and light all right peach mcintyre current energy Spirit is acknowledging that there's a private relationship under the umbrella, Ella, Ella. It's a secret. It's something that's happening in your energy. Pay attention to this energy of someone having a secret relationship. On the bottom of the deck, there are recordings, announcement, expression. Um, something is going to be revealed around this um, private relationship, secret relationship that's happening. And it's going to make you sick. Um, it's going to make you have to plug your ears. You don't want to hear it. It's going to make you be in a space of arguments, putting people in their places. This situation is going to blow up. It's going to explode. Shit is about to pop off in flames. There's a fire sign energy here. Spirit is also acknowledging that someone was getting spoiled. Thank you, Spirit. Um, getting spoiled, treating, and catering in this relationship. Um, and Spirit is also acknowledging that there were some bad choices. Like somebody's like just made some very terrible choices in this energy field. Um, sending you love and light, Peach McIntyre. Moving on. What's, this, what's going on with Peach McIntyre's current energy? Thank you. All right, so there is a secret admirer. It just keeps acknowledging that there's a stranger, a love, daydreaming surprises. There's somebody in the background. Somebody's in the shadows. Okay, pay attention to this. Open your eyes. And Spirit said this relationship is coping by replacement jealousy. And it's not serious, but it's happening. This relationship is happening, okay? Um, and Spirit is acknowledging that with uh, the silver fox in reverse, this man is very immature. And there's a frowned upon age gap between him and this person, him and this admirer, him and this lover. Hey, lover. Hey, lover, this is more than a crush, lover. On the bottom of the deck, we got um, thief, broken heart. So uh, you're going to feel like this was criminal, that there was ulterior motives, cheating and stealing. Okay, sending you love and light. Peach McIntyre. Current energy. Ooh, see, that's what we're talking about. I don't know if that's spirit's way of shuffling the deck. Thank you. All right, so Spirit is acknowledging that you need to indulge. Thank you, Spirit. On the bottom of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging that you need to create. And in the middle of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging that you need some solitude, okay? So let's get into it and let's see what this is all about. Okay, so indulge. Spirit is saying that there's some earth sign energy on this card. This card grants permission to take part in the finer things. Enjoy cre creature comforts. Hmm. Buy yourself something pretty. Take yourself on a dinner date. Make a sweet treat. Again, this just makes me feel like self-care. Um, so that's on the surface. This is what she's doing on the surface. This is what we're visibly seeing. Subconsciously, Spirit is acknowledging that she needs to create. There is some water sign element on here. So it could be emotional or she could be a water sign element, water sign element involved. Make art, build something, throw a new recipe together make beautiful shit make hey. really terrible shit just make something this card suggests getting back into the motion of creating and tapping into a creative source don't fret over monetizing your creativity posting on social media or the opinions of others find what you like to create again by just simply doing it hey Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is also acknowledging in the middle of the deck that it's time for solitude. It's time for what Spirit is saying to me. Time out. Time out. Air sign energy. Um... Earth sign energy. Spirit said, alone time. Find comfort in your own energy again. A process that requires emotional isolation. Do not mistake your alone time for loneliness. Spirit is creating distance from the desires, expectations, and ideas of others so you can identify your own. Get into hermit mode. Hermit mode sounds like Virgo. Okay, so yeah. Get into, get into hermit mode and focus on yourself. Focus on what you need to do to strengthen your soul, your spirit, your foundation. Get grounded. Alright, Peach McIntyre. What is Spirit want me to share moving in love and light for Peach McIntyre.
Oh, look at that. All right, Spirit is acknowledging you are a messenger. Speak your truth. So there's something that you have to get out. There's something that you need to confront. There's something that you need to speak and say. And it needs to be truthful. It needs to come from a truthful space. Spirit is acknowledging that this energy has to do with the Capricorn. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging on the bottom of the deck subconsciously. This also has to do with fire sign energy is Sagittarius. So we have fire sign energy, Sagittarius. We have earth sign energy with Capricorn. Okay, and in the middle of the deck, we have Aries. Aries is a fire sign. What is going on here? We got a lot of energy showing up. Okay, so not sure, but all spirit is acknowledging is that you're a messenger around these energies, and it's time for you to speak your truth. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, again, spirit just wants was leading me to say it and to, to pull it the middle way, the line between opposite extremes. Hmm, the middle way, the line between opposites and extremes. All right. Peach McIntyre current energy. Waiting, playing it safe, no action with the two of wands, not really able to make a decision. Um, two steps forward, two steps back, trying to drag your feet. Uh, playing it safe, fire sign energy. That has to do with the passion and work. And then we have judgment card. You're playing it safe because you're really not even able to judge your role in this position, like how you got here is a lack of accountability. Thank you, spirit. A lack of accountability and a lack of responsibility. False accusations, malicious gossip and judging unfairly is the energy that you subconsciously feel towards others because you're waiting. Like there's something that you're not saying to the people and that's not my business, I sure is. But you feel very attacked, okay? And so you're waiting and you're playing it safe to, to figure out what to do next in the area of business and passion. In the middle of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging what we're not seeing is you have blocked intuition, sexual attention, and unwanted attention. Because your high priestess is in reverse, which means your third eye is blocked. It is closed. It is calcified. And you need to open it up, okay? You need to open it up and you need to get ready to get ready. Spirit said, get ready to get ready. Um... What's our relationship energy with wood? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying the worst is over. You're learning from the past. And it's beyond repair, though, with the Ten of Swords, air sign energy. Um, there's failure, no reward, no lack of confidence with the Six of Wands in business and in pleasure. Fire sign energy. Mm, look at all these cards that want to come out. And I'm going to respect it. Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging with the Ace of Pentacles. There was abundance in your relationship. New money, new business, investments. A page of Wands, childlike, creative, new ideas, fresh energy. But this is also coupled with the Hangman in Reverse. A lot of self-sacrifice, impulsive behavior, and disinterest. With the Three of Wands, in passion and in business, you have your fingers crossed, hoping that there's luck and growth in business and planning ahead and wanting to become a team and working together as a team. And Spirit is also acknowledging that you've been traveling a lot lately. See, long-distance travel... But Spirit said, it doesn't matter. There is something coming. And it's always coming, you know, because that is life. Life prepares you. And sometimes life does not. But that's the ups and downs of life. And like I always say, <laughs> buckle up. It's the university of the universe, okay? We all incarnated here. We chose to be here um, for this time, for this lesson, for this moment. So just be ready to learn, okay? Because like I always say, you either win or you learn. And in this situation, there's a tower moment coming. So brace for impact, radical change, disaster, major loss, chaos, pain, natural disaster. In the middle of the deck, what is this in regards to? Spirit is saying, this is in regards to the two of swords. You're feeling overwhelmed. There's emotional detachment, detaching from someone or something emotionally, and it's leaving you with, with indecision and it says said it twice so this is a resonating thing that you're in a very indecisive mode indecisive energy you don't know what to do spirit is acknowledging that you have issues with ego that you're overly confident and that you're really a sad person with the sun in reverse okay so what is peach mcintyre's biggest obstacle thank you spirit i'll show you to the ancestors i'll show you to the universe Thank you. All right. Spirit is acknowledging next is, uh, well, your biggest obstacle is failure. No reward, lack of confidence in business and in relationship. Another big obstacle is that you gamble, gambling, generosity, and letting go. Those are obstacles for you. Generous. Being generous is an obstacle for you. Letting go is an obstacle for you with the four pentacles. In the middle of the day, Spirit is acknowledging another obstacle for you is malicious gossip, false accusations, and judging unfairly is a big obstacle for you with a judgment card in reverse. And that's really about self. That's not really about others, but it's more about you projecting this on your Yourself, okay all right so what's next for peach mcintyre 
Thank you. All right. So Spirit is acknowledging the Six of Swords, um, overcoming obstacles, leaving even though you don't want to, traveling, moving forward, running away. What else is next? The Magician. You are going to get into that bag. You're going to get into that brouhaha. You're going to start manifesting because subconsciously because things aren't going right here. So you tap into your manifestations, your power. Um, it's infinite possibilities, creativity, manifestation, alchemy, and focus. But remember what I said. If the intent is positive, go for it. But if the intent is negative, it's a, it's a no blame. No, I'm telling you, what you put out in the universe comes right back to you. Whatever you birth, that's your creation, that's yours, is coming back to you, it's coming back home. So be careful, just be focused on the intent and the reason behind it, okay? We don't want to hurt nobody. Don't want to hurt nobody. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But Spirit is saying in the middle of the deck, she is going to continue in passion and in business. To have fresh energy, new ideas, light bulbs going off, childlike energy, being creative, and also being cheerful. That's what we don't see. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.